Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms, and I'm going to do something really different today. And we're going to take a walk around my property, and we're going to talk about what you can control in life, and stress, and just some of my thoughts on things like that. And if, if you're not interested in it, you can skip this one and come back tomorrow. I'll be running a tractor. But it's been almost exactly three years since we bought this 20 acre property. And it has been the greatest blessing of my life moving out here and just working on this piece of property. And I came out this morning, you know, I shut down my, my business. I'd been running out of that shop. And that business was what provided us the opportunity to get a beautiful property like this. And I shut that down about three or four months ago and it's been kind of a stressful time period. And I've just been doing a lot of thinking about the way we deal with stress and what percentage of our lives is consumed by stress. And nothing profound really today. I'm not trying to convince you of anything just sharing some thoughts and what struck me this morning was looking down here at this pond and remembering what it looked like when we bought the property so we're gonna take a look at a couple things and I'm just gonna talk as we go so hope you enjoy it So when we bought the property, the edge of the pond, well, that side of the island is still the original pond bank. So you can see how it was shaped, that it came out and just dropped off, and then it had a gradual run out from there. But that continued across here and all the way up. I've cut this bank back quite a bit further. And then we had a leaky dam back there that was causing all the water to seep out onto my neighbor's property. And so we spent a lot of time this summer trying to fix that. But, you know, as I'm talking about it, that's kind of a metaphor for what I'm saying in the video as well, is there are a lot of things I can't control, even a pond. I can't control whether that leaks or not. And I can't control whether it fills up as every morning I anxiously look down here to see if we've got more water or not. And that's out of my control. But we can take a lot of satisfaction in life from the effort we put into something more than the result sometimes. I put a lot of effort into making this pond bigger, sealing the leak, adding the island, aerating the water. And all of that, the aeration, I added two different types of aeration, that's designed to make it a better habitat for fish. And I think all my fish died. I can't control that. I can only try. But we've been out here the last few weeks and a couple times in the fall, and we're not catching any fish like we did last year. So it's just how it goes. For a while, I was anxiously awaiting water to fill up under the bridge. At one point, we had two separate ponds. We had the, one, the new pond section that I dug over here, and then we had the old pond section, and it dried up, and there was no water but under the bridge. So I was very excited when that bridge filled up underneath. Now, my excitement is right here to see this have water across it. Where we're going to put the second bridge right here but this was the initial little trench i dug to let water run across from the old pond into the new one on that little gully it's supposed to rain today so maybe tomorrow morning will be the first morning in a year when i can look out here and have water across the whole thing so we'll see so like i was just saying about the pond the only things we can control in our lives is our effort and our attitude. I can't fill the pond with water, 
but I can have a hopeful, positive outlook on it. And I can put effort into sealing it. And then I have to accept the results. And the tendency in life is to say, oh, my pond's gonna leak, it's never gonna fill up. And just, I can't control if that fills with water. So every minute that I spend having a negative thought about what's gonna happen with the pond is wasted energy. And what I've found is, over the last three months, I've tied myself into knots, worrying about things that haven't happened. <laughs> and if you think about your life and say, well, how did you spend the last month? Well, I mostly spent it being upset about things that weren't real. Because <laughs> if you're worried about something and stressed about something and it never happens, then you've ruined your experience here on this earth over something that isn't even real. Here's another one I'm really proud of. So, we cut grade. You can see the grade up there is probably 10 foot higher than it is where we're standing now. And that grade, we cut all of that out of this hillside with my tractor and a Mini X that I rented. I planted grass seed over here after we got it all graded out. You can see pieces of shingle that blew off the roof of the house. I need to get out here and get all that picked up. And we set these giant construction blocks here to build it on. Here's a failing. I got three-fourths of the way down the building, filling these pockets in with concrete, and then never finished them. So I need to get back out here and do that. But walking out here this morning and looking at the pond and looking at the Quonset hut and looking at this hill really made me appreciate what's happened in the last three years since we bought this and what we've accomplished. This was a real challenge with how steep it is, with how steep it is up there to come down here and to try to make this into an area that I can just mow. I pulled sod off another piece of the property and laid here and it's all dead right now but this is going to come back and then I put this little trench in here to try to divert water out and grass will grow on that. So back to deep thoughts with Brock as I walk around and look at this property and to continue on what I was saying about worrying about things that aren't real or haven't happened yet and how much time I personally spend doing that. It's not like an on off switch where you can just say, well, I just won't worry anymore. It's a lot, it's a lot tougher than that. But any amount we can distance ourselves from being stressed about things that are outside of our control is a, a benefit to our lives. So here's another example this is the one that trips me up because I've been able to kind of quit worrying about a lot of things, but I've been, I spend too much energy on negative comments on the, on the YouTube videos and the Facebook videos. So here's, here's an example. I'll make a video where I'm like digging out a tree stump and people will get so angry about the way I dug out a tree stump. It's like, is it hurting you? And I'll have like F-bombs and you're ruining the world. Like, okay, man, I'm just taking out a tree stump. And this is the real key that, of what I wanna say. Anything that you let control your emotions, you are giving that thing permission to control your life. So what's the most important thing in your life? It's the amount of joy that you can experience and spread to other people. And l l spending your time on this earth in a joyful state of mind and enjoying your time here is, is something that should be precious to us and we should be guarding that. And we should be moving 
out onto a property like this so we can enjoy time in nature and enjoy working outside. And anything that you get angry about, you have given that thing control over your enjoyment of life. So if you're running late to a doctor's appointment and the person in front of you is driving 50 in a 55 mile an hour speed limit zone and making you drive a little slower yourself and now you're going to be late, if you allow that to make you angry, then you're starting your day and you are saying, what will decide my enjoyment of my life? And then you can make a list of things that will decide your enjoyment of life. The person in the car in front of you on the way to that appointment, I give you permission to control my enjoyment of life. Random person watching my video and making a comment, I give you permission to control the quality of my life. So, I know a lot of you guys probably aren't out here looking for philosophy from me, but the more things we can let go of, you know, and if, if you don't want to be late, you have control over your effort and your attitude towards that. You can leave early and you can also say ahead of time that I know in life things happen that I don't want to happen and I'm not going to be mad. You know, we all get mad sometimes, but any amount of control you can exhibit over that, over your attitude, is going to make your life better. Because getting mad at the person driving in front of you doesn't hurt them. It's kind of like not forgiving someone, they say is like taking poison and hoping it kills the other person. It doesn't. It only hurts you. So any amount of control you can take over your own emotional state, I think is a one of the best gifts you can give yourself. So, sorry for making a different kind of video and for rambling so long. I just, just wanted to share a few thoughts. I appreciate you taking time to watch. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos and I'll see you next time.